Welcome to Metric Metals and You, the show that answers your questions about metric metals. With me once again is Ed Beam, Professor of Steelology at Parker Steel. Hello. Today's letter comes from Jimmy Hoop in Hollertown, and he writes, Dear Professor Ed Beam, how do I measure the flange on I-beams and channels? I'll hang up and listen for your answer. Professor? Funny this question should come up, Steve. I was discussing this very topic with my wife last night. She's lovely. Now, measuring the flange on an I-beam. First, we'll examine the tapered U-channel. Let's say the main callout is 100 by 50. That means the height is 100 millimeters, the leg length is 50 millimeters, the web is 6 millimeters, and the thickness of the flange is 8.5 millimeters. The inside radius, or R1, will be 8.5 millimeters, and the end of flange, or R2, will be 4.5 millimeters. Remember, when measuring the flanges of a tapered U-channel, the slope will be 8% on any channel less than 300 millimeters in height, and 5% on any channel over 300 millimeters high. Next, we'll look at the straight leg U-channel. The main callout is 100 by 55, so the height is 100 millimeters. The leg length is 55 millimeters, the web is 5 millimeters and the thickness of the flange is 8.5 millimeters. For all channel, the radius between the web and the flange will vary. The inside radius is 10 millimeters. My, that was uh, invigorating, Professor. Thank you. And of course, there's more information on our website. So join us next time, won't you, when we answer another question on metric metals. Hey, did you notice my wife had that extra nostril removed? <laughs>